Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Lins here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 20. Uh, thank you all for tuning into my YouTube channel, subscribing, and being the awesome people that you all know that you are. Uh, for today's tip, I am going to really quickly show you a trick for uh, being able to export and import animations from a model uh, and applying those animations only to portions of the model. And uh, this will become more clear what I'm talking about in just a moment. Uh, prior to recording this, I set up this uh, this sample here where I've got my scene camera on the left pointing at a red spy model and I've got my work camera on the right pointing at a blue spy model. Uh, if you're curious why they look a little different, it's because the field of view on the two cameras is different. Uh, but that's okay. It's not really important for our purposes. The uh, uh, What is important is that I'm going to go in here into the motion editor and I'm going to grab spy number one who happens to be the red spy. And I am going to give him a facial preset. I think I'll just grab special action zero one. That gives him that backstabby glare. And for spy number two, he is going to be, we're going to make him happy. So now we have the backstab glare on the left and the uh, big happy smile on the right. Now, let's say that I wanted to mix and match some of this. Uh, let's, uh, let's do this. I'm going to go here into back into the motion editor so you can see what I'm selecting. I'm going to grab the lower face here and I'm going to say export animation. But notice I only, I right clicked lower face, not the spy. And so then I, I did this earlier to make sure I knew what I was talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and overwrite spy lower face dot DMX. And uh, now I'm going to go up to the first spy, expand his lower face, and I'm going to say import animation. Grab spy lower face dot DMX and I will get the, do you want to import the following channels prompt? Nothing happens until you scrub the playhead, by the way. So always try that before you think that something went wrong. Now note what happens is that when I imported that animation, I get this guy's smile on this guy's face, but his eyes did not change. Uh, they still have the default action upper, uh, or excuse me, the, the special action zero one preset is applied from the eyes up. It was only the lower face that this was applied to. And you can use this same technique for any other animation, for any other portion of the animation set. For example, I could export uh, just his hips or one hip or his fingers. So if you have an animation of, of, uh, of him curling his, fist, his fingers into a fist or something, you can, use, you can use that and reuse it without having to create a full animation set. Uh, and then you can just apply those animation sets to individual little chunks. So you can, over time, what I find myself doing is building up a little library of little animation sets that are useful for, at least for a starting point, if not for, uh, for, the, final, for the final thing that I'm going to do, like you know, maybe uh, um, you know, clenching a fist or something. Uh, some more complicated uses for it might be creating things like walk cycles and so forth, which is something I'm going to try and tackle in a future tip of the day. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep these to limited to just very, very simple topics, bite-sized things. You know, these are the McNuggets of tutorials. I'm not trying to do long, complicated tutorials uh, for the tips of the day. I want to keep them fairly short. One other uh, heads up about doing this, though. You will find that there is a challenge when you have rigged one of these things, is that there is, once you have a rig attached, you cannot export or import anything. You can still do the phoneme extraction, I believe. Uh, although I haven't actually tried it with a rigged model. I don't see why you couldn't. But if you note, I can't actually uh, do any importing or exporting of animations from a rigged model. So if you do need to do it, there's really no problem. All you've got to do is just go in and detach your rigs, and then you can get back to uh, what you need to as far as importing and exporting. But just note that you cannot export or import animation sets or pieces of animation sets from any rigged models. Uh, so for what it's worth, that is your tip of the day. And uh, I am, as always, at your disposal. I am Jimmer Lins. I thank you very kindly for watching. I hope you're having a great day and enjoy using Source Filmmaker.